the Alice in Wonderland playing cards. And you'll see right here on the front of this white matte tuck box that right below the entrance it says, we're all mad here. One side says, I get what I like. And the other side says, I like what I get. The back design in the tuck box are going to be the same. The top of the tuck box will be a flower with stems coming off both directions. In the bottom, you have ad copy. The large inside tuck flap says, begin at the beginning and go on until you get to the end, then stop. The two inner tuck flaps have small flowers and the entire inside of the tuck box has been completely done with more artwork inside. But that's all I can say for the tuck box, so let's take a look at the cards. And if you're enjoying the review so far, please make sure to subscribe. So this is going to be the back design, extremely reminiscent of a lot of the parts of the movies. You have the doorways and little walkways and many more things with the water fountains in the corners. And if you've seen an Alice in Wonderland movie, you'll recognize quite a bit. And the faces have even more things reminiscent of the movie. First, you'll see that the spade pips and all the other pips have all been reshaped and slightly shrunk. You'll have, on each of the spades, you'll have a small branch. On the diamonds, you'll have a small watch. On the clubs, you'll have the salt shaker. And on the hearts, you'll have a flower. All of the placements has been kept the same, but everything is slightly redone to make it a little bit more professional. You get two art ad cards, two jokers, three extremely fun aces that all have to do with different points in the movie, and 12 extremely fun court cards. Now you'll see that all of the black cards have a blue background for the court cards. You'll find that all of your hearts and diamonds have a like yellowish tan background to all of those cards and probably my favorite court card comes right now the queen of hearts which is the queen of hearts and honestly i don't think you could have had a more fitting one and this one right here the king of spades happens to be my least favorite because i've always hated that dang cat and this one confused me because you shouldn't have a queen as a king that's honestly just kind of odd and last but not least, your Ace of Spades, which pays homage to the designer, Lewis Carroll. There's still a few more things that you'll want to know, and first of which is, can this deck Pharaoh Shuffle? Pharaoh Shuffling is shuffling the deck every other card list like so. So clearly it can do it from top to bottom, but not all decks can do it both ways. So we'll check from bottom to top as well. And then from bottom to top, once again, works fine. No problems with it. Once again, every other. Next is what is this deck going to feel like in your hands because all playing cards feel a little bit different. This deck is going to be on the thicker side. It's on a premium or a casino or a B stock. There's only two types of stocks. There's the classic and then there's the premium. This one is on the premium stock so it is going to be thicker. It is not crushed and it doesn't feel like it's crushed either but it is extremely buttery. So it's not going to be one that's like super snappy but it will be able to do moves like under pressure or any move like that. It is just extremely bendable and malleable to be able to do moves any one that you're wanting to do. Now, that does not mean it cannot do moves like Hot Shot or Backdrop or anything like that. It is still snappy enough to be able to do those things as well, but it is just thick and buttery. And one deck that I would compare it to right off the top of my head would be the Parlor Playing Cards by The Gentleman Wake, which I have reviewed as well, and you can check it right up at the top of the screen or in the link in the description below. And lastly, should you buy this deck? Let's go through a few different types of people who there are and if you should buy it or not. First off, magicians. Truth be told, if you're a magician, just don't buy this deck. It's too customized for you. It's not simple enough. Don't buy this deck. If you're a cardist, again, I probably wouldn't pick this one up. It's not meant for cardistry. It's just not. Again, you can do cardistry with almost any deck, but at the same time, this isn't a cardistry deck. Is it a collector's deck, however? 100%. It's an Alice in Wonderland deck. Super custom. Super really cool. And it will look great on a card shelf like that. So if you're a collector, I'd definitely pick this deck up. And both for this deck here and this deck here, they're both 10% off in the description below. If you want to pick them up, at least I can save you some money. Make sure to go through down there. And it also helps out the channel a little bit as well. Now, the next one is for playing card games with. I do technically think you could play card games with them. There'd be no problem with that. The only thing that I would say that I would be hesitant about a little bit is making sure that the people who I don't want to play with them, who would either bend them or not use them well, would be playing with these cards, so I'm probably not going to be playing card game with them. I'll play with more of a junk deck, like a bike deck. And lastly, is this a hype deck? 
Heck no. So after all this, let me know what you think of this deck down in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So if you like seeing playing cards reviews, I've literally posted over 100 deck reviews on the channel, so this is clearly going to be the place for you when they drop every single week. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect signing off.